Good afternoon folks, it's Simon here at Vans today in Worcester and I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2020 uh, on a 20 plate. Uh, the legend that is the Volkswagen Crafter. Uh, this is the 2 litre TDI 140 brake horsepower in trendline specification with a business pack fitted. So what is the business pack I hear you shout at me? The business pack gives it the front and rear parking sensors, your air conditioning and the slightly larger screen on the stereo which gives you app connect. Um, etc etc um, this particular vehicle is a one the keeper from new vehicle it's current car it has covered just 53,000 miles from new i would say it's in cracking all-round condition uh, for one of these vans the big vans they can get worked hard this one isn't too bad i've got to say now for those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before the purpose of them is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying and then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. The vast majority of our customers do purchase having watched the video, uh, leave a deposit, come and collect or leave a deposit and get a quote for delivery. Um, yes, you will get a properly prepared van with fresh MOT, servicing, warranty, full PDI check uh, and full diagnostics, uh, electronic health check done on it as well. So let's get started, shall we? And there's a few bits, no doubt, I'll pick up as I go around. So for instance, I can see the aerial is missing up there. So obviously we will get that uh, replaced for you. Coming down onto your windscreen, windscreen is in good all round condition with no major stone chips on it that's gonna cause us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Down onto your bonnet. And again, the bonnet is in good overall condition. Couple of minor stone chips, which we will get touched in before it goes out the door. Um, but I'm not talking about major stuff. Uh, overall, I'd say it's, uh, it's very good. Um, front grills, front bumper, etc. All good. Take note, you do have that front parking sensors, as already mentioned. Passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, that's all good as well. Look down the side profile of the van, and you can see there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork, and there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It all looks very straight and tidy, to be fair. Around to the driver's side, your driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. And then your driver's side front bumper corner, that's also good with no heavy scuffing there either. Again, look down the driver's profile from this angle and again, a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. Uh, I did notice there's a dent man ding somewhere on here. Uh, I'll see if I can find it as we go around. Um, but moving on, your driver's side front wing, that's all in good order. Driver's side front steel wheel, that's in good order. You have a Continental tyre on there. So good brand name to tyre there and loads of tyre tread depth on that tyre. The mirror unit with integrated indicator is all good. Minor, minor kind of little scuff mark, nothing major. Upper and lower mirrors are good. Driver's side door glass, that's also good as well. Have a look at your alignment of your driver's door to front wing and rear quarter, and you can see everything aligns up nicely as well. If I get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good condition with no damage. Check out your protective strip as I move the camera along the vehicle, and you can see that's also in good condition with no damage. Uh, mid quarter again all good and then driver's side rear quarter again all looking pretty good to be fair as i say it's a nice tidy one this one driver's side rear steel wheel has another continental tire again loads of tire tread depth on there i suggest that's been recently replaced we have a little mark on the quarter here but that i can't get my nail in it that's going to tee cut out so we'll get that tee cut out for you okay protective strips on the back there all looking pretty good we have the most minor of kind of scuff marks there your rear reflectors looking good your rear light unit also in good condition and then they're round to the back end of the vehicle and we've got rear barn doors on a 50 50 split uh, working end of the vehicle but even on this one it looks nice and respectable so you've got a high level brake light up there your rear doors all align up nicely factory parking sensors on the back in fact, that rear bumper, that looks in good order as well. That doesn't look like it's had too much action in its life. It's not garaged or anything like that. And then inside the van, you can see we have a factory bulkhead. Uh, and again, that's in great condition. It doesn't look as though it's had too many fights with uh, much uh, stuff in the back of the van. Your roof up there, as you can see, all nicely and good. No excessive wear or tear. It's nicely ply lined out in the back as you would expect it to be. Both your rear arch covers are still uh, present and correct, which is always a miracle. Uh, and then obviously you've got your normal tie down points, etc., in the back, which 
are all in good condition and nice and clean. And then you've got your standard crafter flooring, which is in great condition as well. Inside the rear doors, for some reason, we are missing the ply lining on the rear door on this side, uh, but it's present and correct on that side. And I'm afraid I can only buy the ply lining kit in full kit, so you would have to take it as it is on that front. Um, looking down on the corner, sorry, telephone's just gone off, cut the video out. So corner pieces, as you can see, bring it down and everything is good. Your rear light unit's good. Your rear bumper corners are good. Rear reflectors are good. Have a viewpoint of the side of the van from this side and you can see um, also in nice uh, condition. Um, we have a little bit of trim just missing off the end of the side rail there. So we'll get that ordered up from Volkswagen and refitted for you. Upper quarter up there, that's all looking pretty good. Lower quarter, that's all looking pretty good as well. Um, we have a little scratch on your plastic trim there. Your steel wheel in good order and you have a continental tire, which again has loads of tire tread depth on there. I'd suggest the tires have probably recently been replaced. Um, sliding door, we've got a little bit of a hedge rash mark there. Don't know whether you can see it. It's easily moppable. Um, the boys have been battling the weather this week, so uh, they probably haven't just polished that side yet. So we'll get the uh, hedge rash polished out of that. It hasn't uh, gone uh, deep into the paintwork or anything. It's a fairly simple mop. Get down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good order. Your uh, protective strips down the side of the vehicle. There's some really minor, minor scuff marks. And as you can see, the lease company has very kindly uh, circled them for us. There's nothing major on there. We'll get all that circle, that that, uh, that removed out of them. And if we're being really fussy, there's a slight dent in your sill there. Generally done, I think, by edging up a forklift to the sliding door. And that sliding door opens up nicely. And as you can see, your door shuts are in clean, tidy condition. Your um, side door, uh, door rubbers, present and correct, all good. The actual side step itself and sill are in great condition as well. There's another viewpoint of your bulkhead, which is also in good condition. And here's just another viewpoint of the inside of the van. And you can see really quite, uh, really quite tidy for one of these things. The driver's side, uh, sorry, passenger side door glass, that's in good order. Uh, wing mirror this side and mirror glasses are all good door handles are good passenger side front door that's all looking good uh, passenger side uh, front wing all good we have another uh, good condition steel wheel with another continental tire so you've got four continental tires they all look as though they've been recently replaced to be fair so that's good inside the vehicle your passenger side door card clean and tidy the Door shuts are clean and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics are in good condition. Behind this flap here, you have your diesel fuel filler and your ad blue filler. The flooring inside the vehicle is really clean and tidy with no excessive wear or tear. There's your bonnet pull there. I'll show you under there in a second. Glove box. The all essential cup holders. Storage on top of the dash there and your dashboard face is all neat and tidy. We have additional storage above your head. And then your passenger side seat trim, as you can see, is really clean and tidy as well. No dodgy smells, no dodgy stains underneath your seats are clean and tidy as well. Um, and then having a look underneath your bonnet. Again, really clean and tidy under the bonnet here. Correct colour coolant there, no contamination in it. Your engine, as you can see, really clean and tidy as well. Brake fluid, windscreen wash, air boxes over there, oil filler there, and the yellow is your dipstick. Driver's side door card, again, clean and tidy. Central locking, electric windows, electric mirrors, door shuts, clean and tidy as well. Entry seals, all good. Flooring pedal rubbers etc those are all good and then driver's side seat that's all looking good as well you've got manual lights rear fog lights are on that one as well we have a nice multi-function steering wheel no excessive wear or tear on the steering wheel they're still all your factory 
texture on there. Let's turn that radio down a second. We have all of your computer options on there. We have your cruise control on this one. As you can see on your instrument binnacle, it's done 53,926 miles and it's a really nice, clean and clear instrument binnacle. Put my foot down on the clutch, fire her up. Obviously, it's telling me the door's open, so let's shut that. Um, all good, uh, only lights on, I don't listen to the handbrakes on and I haven't got my seatbelt on. Um, you've got this nice um, stereo system here as well which gives you DAV, FM and AM, as well as Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music. And then you also have App Connect on there as well. Um, loads of other different options to play with on there as well. The all important air conditioning, yes, it has it. Electronic stability program, parking sensors, stop start technology, central locking for the back of the vehicle, hazard warning lights. You got another 12 volt power down there, a bit of storage down there, six speed manual gearbox all the way to the left and forward and that activates your park pilot display on there as well. We have additional storage on top of the dash there. And in between your seats, you can see really clean and tidy. No old McDonald's down there. Interior lights, etc., etc., are up there for you as well. And that, my friends, is about it. I have, just forgot to mention, there are two bits of touching up to do there on the edge, door edges, which will get done on it for you. And that, my friends, is about it, okay? There are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. And if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, uh, most importantly, and we have presence on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, and you are watching this video on our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe, folks, like and subscribe. I knew there was a little ding that I'd missed on there. A little ding there, we'll get it sorted for you. Uh, and there we go, really clean and tidy, medium wheelbase, high roof. Sold a lot of these for conversion, I've got to be honest with you. They're a cracking van, drive really, really well. And I think they're cracking value for money compared to a transporter. Uh, there we go, any queries, give us a shout. I'm Simon, we're Vans today. Thanks for watching.